is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is Him because God is Spirit. The Father, the Word, the Spirit are one. Many separate the Holy Spirit with power or authority. The very Spirit that God gave us cannot separate with power or authority. I believe many get to understand this now because many would say, I have the Holy Spirit, I was baptized, but I don't have power. I lack authority, I need power. No, 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 no. The very Spirit of God is of honor. It's of power. It's the power of God. That's why 1 Corinthians 2, the Apostle Paul reveals it this way. I resort to know nothing from among you, save Christ and Him crucified. My message was not with persuasive words, but it was done with a demonstration of power. So whatever I'm saying, the Holy Spirit confirms what I'm saying. So the Holy Spirit does not confirm without demonstrating the power or the personality of the Spirit himself. His personality is power. The Holy Spirit will confirm what I'm saying. And how does it confirm? It will be the demonstration of power, authority. That's his personality, authority. And that's why Jesus, when he goes to every town, he'd say, full of the Holy Spirit. And the mission will be successful because it goes with authority and power. So never look at it and suspend or postpone your blessing. But now, it has got where it starts. That's why many say we receive the Holy Spirit. But far from authority and power. Far from authority and power. I would like you to know tonight that when you have the Holy Spirit, there's power and there's so much authority upon your lives. Apostle Paul reveals it clearly. Philippians 4. He says, I can do all things. I'm not limited. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So the Holy Spirit does not just come and leave you without leaving you without strength. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Let's live for Jesus Christ. He's not leaving you without strength or without power or without authority. Understand what he's saying in Philippians 4. I can do all. He says, I. He doesn't say God can. He says, I. Maybe it's a matter of English, but please listen to this. I, A, E, O, U, A, B, A, 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 Z, 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 E, E, I, I, I. Listen. I can do everything, all things. Now it is through. Now when I say I, he makes himself God. He thinks he's better, this boy. He thinks, no, I can do all things. Through what? Through Christ who strengthens me? To be strengthened is to be given the very power, the authority. So it is through Christ. Who is Christ? Christ means the anointed one. Christ means the mystery of God. Christ is the very spirit of God. When Jesus was on the cross, he, Jesus Christ, gave up. He, Jesus, I want you to get this. He, Jesus said it is finished. And when he said it is finished, he, Jesus, gave up the ghost, the spirit. Ghost means spirit, Christ. Christ left Jesus on the cross. So the authority, the power left Jesus on the cross when he said it is finished. 
So that's why he comes with this confession. Eli, Eli, my God, my spirit, why have you left me? Why have you forsaken me? So the spirit left him. The authority, the power. So he can't do anything. He goes to the grave without saying, no, I can't. He goes. And the very spirit, God came and raised him from the dead. Now, through the spirit, we can. Now, when the spirit left him, he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't say no because the spirit left him. Now, it's guarantee. He, yes, he died for all of us and he goes to the grave. Now, get this. I love you all. God loves you all even more. I love you all. Listen to this. I love you to see you walking in, in such authority and power. Not looking down upon yourself. You see, that's where the problem is. You're not going to walk by the Spirit if you look down upon yourself. You're not going to walk by the Spirit. Because looking down upon yourself, you see yourself empty, void of power, void of the Holy Spirit, you have undermined the Holy Spirit who declared that you are a new creature. You are born again. You are a brand new man. Through the way we see ourselves, we can reject the Holy Spirit. Tonight, you will see yourself the way God sees you. And that has been in his mind to see you the way he wanted to see you. Right from the beginning, he wanted, he yearned to see you that way. Oh, let's make men in our image. And let them do what? Authority, power, let them rule. So we'll give them who? The Holy Spirit. To achieve our goal. Of them ruling. Of having power. That they can do, they themselves can do all things, can display our greatness on earth. So the Apostle Paul comes, I, I can do all things. You're not a man who is limited. A man who is limited is void of the Spirit of God. He says, I, 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 I can do all things. Now, so that nobody can be found guilty before the throne of God? Listen, this is the statement. I can, through Christ, who strengthens me. So the Spirit, Christ, who left Jesus on the cross, comes upon them in Acts chapter 2. He left Jesus. He took him out of the graves. After taking him out of the grave, now he lets him speak to the disciples, and when he speaks to them, Acts 1, he says, go and wait in Jerusalem for the one who took me out of the grave. He's coming. The Spirit, the Christ, to strengthen you, to give you this honor. Long time you've been undermined, brethren, and everyone watching all over the world, you've been undermined. But honor has come through the Spirit. Don't look for honor because you prayed, you ask for a car, for a house, and people honor you. No, the first honor, one and the best honor that you get. The honor that makes God to see you as he sees himself. That you can do all. That you can do everything through the very spirit, Christ. Through the very spirit. That's why Jesus said, don't you know, even when you take me to the cross, I can call legions of angels to fight for me. I can. I, oh, I, I can. Just as God commands angels on his throne. I can. But I have to do the will of God because of a certain power that dwells in me. Because of a certain authority that rests in me. So I bank on this power, on this authority, the spirit, to take me through right up to the end for me to say, you have left me now. To give up that spirit, that authority. So if I 
can do it. It can happen. I can call angels. I can understand the power of authority. When the apostle Paul says, I can do all things. Can you imagine the power, the authority that rests in his heart, that out of the abundance of his mouth, he could say such a statement. I can. I can. I can do it. I can do it. Where does that come from? Um, 34, 35, um, Acts 2. Can you read it for us there? Can you read it for us there? I would like us all to get these people. Never undermine. Have you ever looked at people and see the love, the perfections, and see the power, and see the glory, and your heart is being pricked with pain because one does not see that? Why are you crying? Why are you so depressed? Why are you complaining when God has given so much riches from above? Hebrews 11.3 By faith, God, through the successful ages, He created the world, the trees, the seas, the every By the word, by His word, He, could, he can do those things. By the word, so that everything you see did not happen because of what was seen. So everything happened out of what was not seen. What else then? The way, the spirit. Who can see the spirit? You just feel the wind. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know where it's going. You have authority, power that will confuse anybody who lacks such spirit. A man who's born again. He's like the wind. Spirit gives birth to spirit. Spirit gives birth to spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh. That's John 3. Spirit gives birth to spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh. So where flesh gives birth to flesh, there's no authority. There's no power because it gives birth to flesh. But spirit will give birth to spirit. And I want you to understand when spirit gives birth to spirit, all things can happen because the spirit can appear or manifest into the visibility and flesh can look at the visibility of the spirit as ah this is witchcraft how can this happen because flesh gives birth to flesh spirit gives birth to spirit that can manifest into the visibility what can be seen so everything you see trees and was made out of what was not seen so they look at you today do they know what they're going to see through you because you can do all of them through Christ the Spirit who anointed you. Christ means the anointed one. Know what he has done by forgiving our sins to deal with the flesh so that holiness can be perfected or can come to completeness through his blood. The blood of Jesus satisfies holiness colossians 1 the blood of jesus satisfies holiness so satisfy ye holiness holiness walks with confidence because the blood of jesus has done it for me the blood holiness says yes now i can holy spirit holy i can holy spirit i can do it and confirm what they say holy spirit through the demonstration of authority, power, I can. That's why the Apostle Paul says in the same Philippians 4, I know the secret of facing every situation. So every situation will see me and not see the situation and be scared or be afraid. Situations will see you. Situations will recognize you. Pleasure will recognize you. Challenges will know you. Because Romans 8, creation has been waiting for sons of the Spirit, sons of glory to be manifested. Because Spirit gave birth to Spirit that manifest. So you were given birth as a Spirit. You have manifested that every situation can notice you. So many are not noticed because they rejected to walk by the Spirit that manifest. So you are the Spirit that has manifested. So that has caused you to be noticed by situations. Is there trouble in your house? Did you notice that trouble or did it notice you? Be noticed by situations. Because sons of glory, when they manifested, 
creation is set free. That's why it says creation has been waiting earnestly because it was in bondage, waiting for sons of glory to be manifested. So when creation notices you, creation becomes excited. Creation, creation is free from bondage. The land is free now because it will produce. It couldn't produce correctly because somebody was missing there. Somebody is missing. So you are missing. Come back, all of you. Come back. Come back. You are not just a simple man. You are not just ordinary. God gave you the spirit with a mission, with a purpose, to be like him. God wanted to notice who he is in you. Ah, creation must notice you. Demons must notice you. The devil must notice you. That you can say, hey, I have power. Mm, I have authority. You look at my flesh. Uh uh. I can even lay down and raise it again. Come on, understand such authority. Now, the first step that you need to know in conquering and to conquer and be above conquering or more than a conqueror. Power to lay down into raise it again. Power to deal with the flesh. The power. The power of saying, come, you can do whatever. But God is on my side. I have power to do it. Come, I'm available. But I have one power that you must be aware of. To lay down and to raise it again. Don't be surprised if you think you made it against me. And you see me tomorrow and don't run away don't be scared i'm not a ghost that's the kind of authority that god has given what was man that you thought of him and the son so god loved you the same way he loved his son let's live for jesus christ he loved you the same way he loved jesus christ no difference so the moment one begins to say God does not love me. I'm going through this. You committed the greatest sin. You said, I'm born again. You welcome God. But because of a challenge, you say, God does not love me. Where's the Holy Spirit? That's sin. It's sin. Look how people are being helped. Look how people are going through me. God just left me. God doesn't love me. Because God doesn't love me. Let me take some beer and drink. Let me take some alcohol and drink because God doesn't love me. Taking alcohol to drink, it's the, the result of flesh. Now giving birth. Don't be surprised. I'm trying to help you to realize. You gave birth. Let me just commit sin. Flesh is giving birth now. Because you rejected the authority that puts flesh under your feet. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Let's live for King.